This is Mech 22, starting system components. And we'll start at the top left up here, and then we'll uh, go around in this direction. So this is our switch terminal. This is where our wire would go to when we want to um, turn the key. That would come from the ignition switch. And then we have this component right here. This is our solenoid. So you can see it says solenoid right there. Inside of the solenoid, we have the plunger. Now, this, that's this thing that goes up and down here. So this is the plunger right there. Maybe I'll do this in red so that everybody can see. So that's the plunger right there. Our return spring pushes the plunger back when we take our finger off the key. We have this shift la lever here. It pivots right here, so it's like that. And when the solenoid is activated, it moves in that direction. It kicks the gear out that way. So that's our shift lever. Uh, a little bushing here that handles the end of the armature shaft. Pinion stop is a little area right here. When this pinion gear pops out, it needs a place to run into and stop. Then we have this overrunning clutch. It's also called a one-way clutch. You'll have to identify that too. Field coils are a little bit difficult to see because this is a cutaway, but the field coil, there will be one here and that will be like this. This will be the field coil and there will be another one over here and on the other side there will likely be four or more of them. The armature itself that's the bundle of wires that goes on the rotating part of the starter. So that's the armature. Conductors to riser bars to armature. So and then you have these little wires that goes from the armature down to um, the commutators. And these are the commutators down here. We also have the riser bars that come up and connect to the conductors. And what else? We, also, we have a bushing on this end as well as this end. And that's going to balance this whole armature, the whole shaft there, so it doesn't wobble and create abnormal wear. We also have a grommet right here. It's a rubber grommet that protects the power through the solenoid that goes down into the starter. So we need to protect that. Otherwise, it'll just ground out against the body of the starter, and we can't have that. So if we look over at this picture here, you can see we have an insulated brush holder, and that goes all the way. It sits right in there. It's insulated so that as current flows through it, it doesn't touch the ground or the body of the starter. And we also have four little brushes here. One, two, three, and four, those little brushes. And they push up against the commutator bars, the ones that you saw here. And so we have an insulated brush holder and we have a grounded brush holder too. And that is where the path will go to at the end of the circuit. It'll go to the ground and back to the battery. Those are the parts that I want you to identify on the starter.